I'm, I'm really proud of our kids. I mean, we had back-to-back -back games where we played tough, and especially our starter kids, like, they played a whole bunch of minutes in a very short period of time. I mean, the consistent thing about who we are and what we do is that we continue to fight, so I appreciate that. I mean, we could do a lot better just in our execution and just kind of like finishing plays, but our effort is pretty consistent, and when it's a good feeling for a coach when you don't have to coach effort and that it's the basketball things that you have to coach and it's something that you can fix in practice and things like that. It would be a different story if we didn't work. And, you know, our work ethic shows and kind of every time that we go out and we compete. So I'm really proud of that. Of course, a loss doesn't feel good, but I am proud of our effort. What kind of challenges did you guys face today playing them? Well, they were physical. I mean, we had a tough time kind of keeping them off of the offensive boards. They got a lot of second chance points and points in the paint. I mean, we're a little undersized and uh, Michaela as well as Lauren do a really good job of kind of crashing the board. So we lacked a little bit in that area. Coach, just now you've had two different top 25 teams on the ropes here at home. I mean, how promising is that with the young team just kind of learning and really battling throughout these games? Oh, it is promising, you know, uh, just to kind of for them to be in these moments for the first time and be able to compete at a high level and kind of not be afraid of the moment. I think that Kylie as well as Carol are doing a great job of kind of being in the moment and supporting our fourth years in a way that allows them to kind of be more of themselves. I mean, I don't like having to kind of keep Jocelyn in almost the entire game, her as well as Lisa, but, you know, we depend on what they bring so much. I mean, we for sure appreciate it, but, you know, it's kind of tough to see them time and time again kind of grinding it out, and that's where we have to kind of pull our other first year along and kind of get them to the point that they could come in and give us good minutes, you know, here and there to give these guys a little bit more of a rest. Yeah, Jocelyn, um, kind of the same thing, but, you know, how promising is it? For, I know it's you know, still a loss, but how promising is it that y'all keep battling, you know, these really good teams on this schedule? We talked before the year that, you know, it's a challenging schedule, but how encouraged are you by the effort shown so far? Yeah, I think it is promising, as Coach said. I think having these games early on will prepare us for later in the season, especially as we get closer to ACC play when we're going to be facing these types of teams um, day in and day out. And so you look forward to having these games and, and more importantly, learning from them. You know, it will be different if we just have the game and don't make any changes or adjustments, but the opportunity to learn from them and get better to prepare us for the rest of the season is pretty promising. What did you learn from Well, I think... Uh, we learned that we have quite a few things, um, but we learned that we have to be physical, more physical than we are right now. Um, I think we got outworked a lot on the offense rebounds, as Coach said, so just doing a better job of just wanting it, honestly. Um, and it's tough when you come from back to back game, but you know, when you're in a tournament, that's what it's going to be like. So just learning from these, from these games um, and being mentally and physically tough. I'm going to miss her. <laughs> I have that feeling every game, just FYI. <laughs> um, everything. I mean, she has a, a very high IQ, and she matches that kind of with effort and intensity, and it's throughout the entire game. I mean, there's, no, I don't think ever moments where I have to kind of coach her effort and her mentality. She brings a level of um, intensity and just kind of toughness that is just her. You know, I never have to encourage her to be ready. Like, she's always ready. And that's just kind of a mark of a really good player. And uh, every coach in the country wants to have one like that. So everybody is not like that, you know, and that's just a reality. I mean, if you had a team full of players like that, Practices would be very competitive every day. A few people would be bruised up. <laughs> but um, it, it, it's for sure something that you can depend on, and I, and I definitely depend on that. Thank you. You're welcome. It's true. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Go Hoos.